Did you know that scientists have recently proven that the flood from the Bible is real? Scientists have officially found fossils from fish at the top of the Himalayan mountains, which proves that the entire earth was covered in water. And this is what it looked like when it happened. Watch this. These are two signs that prove Jesus is coming back sooner than you think. Number one, the Bible says that in the last days there will be pandemics and epidemics all over the earth. In the last 100 years, there's been more pandemics and epidemics than any time before. But that's not all. The Bible also says that in the last days there will be a major influx of earthquakes. And this is a chart that proves the increase of destructive earthquakes just in the last 30 years. This little kid had a demon that wouldn't let him speak. Watch this. Thank you, Jesus. God's going to free you right now. I command now. Every mute spirit must leave this boy on three. And every demonic spirit in this boy. In Jesus' name. One, two, three. Out now. In Jesus' name. Here's more proof that we are actually in the last days. Jesus said that before he comes back again, there will be multiple signs on the planet that will show his coming. The Bible says that there will be a major increase in destructive earthquakes. Nation will begin to rise up against nation. Deadly pandemics will sweep across the planet. And famine and food shortages will come upon the earth. This is the devil's background story. The Bible says that when God made Lucifer, he was the most beautiful angel that God had ever created. But one day pride was found in his heart and his beauty got the best of him. He said, I will rise up and be like the most high God. And when God saw that there was pride in Lucifer's heart, it says he struck him down to the earth. But what happened next will shock you. Here's more signs that we're in the end times. The Bible says that we will know that we're in the last days because there will be multiple signs on the earth. There will be a major increase in destructive earthquakes. Multiple viruses that go all over the planet. Nation will fight against nation. And there will be major famines all over the planet. These are all signs that Jesus is coming back again soon. If you want to... Did you know that this Bible prophecy is actually happening right in front of your eyes? In the book of Revelation in the Bible, it talks about the great Euphrates River in the Middle East. It says that in the last days before God destroys the earth, that this great river will actually dry up. Well, this is the current state of that river. It's drying up. But that's not all. The Bible says that God chained up four fallen angels and actually imprisoned them underneath that river. And according to the Bible timeline, when the river dries up, they will be released from under the river to slaughter one-third of mankind. And the river is almost dried up. So it's only a matter of time before those angels are back on the earth. Make sure to subscribe. What is the apocalypse and will you be in it? The apocalypse is when all hell breaks loose on earth before Jesus comes back again. The Bible says that during the apocalypse, there will be bugs the size of horses that will sting you like a scorpion. And then the evil angels that are bound underneath the earth will be let loose. Then they will continue to kill an entire third of the earth's population. The earth is falling apart. The only people that will not be harmed are the people of God. Is it possible that this is a real recording of a fallen angel that's trapped under the earth? Watch this.
Did you know that this end time Bible prophecy is happening right in front of your eyes and nobody is talking about it? The Bible says that when God struck Lucifer and his angels out of heaven that he chained some of them underneath the earth. The Bible says that God chained up some of the angels and put them underneath the Euphrates River in the Middle East. And the prophecy says that once the Euphrates River dries up that these angels will be released back onto the earth. And at that point they will be given permission to slaughter one third of mankind. And here's the crazy thing, the river is almost dried up. Archaeologists are saying that the river could dry up by the year 2040. If you believe the Bible is true, make sure to subscribe now. To there was once a great battle that happened in heaven. Lucifer and one third of the angels rose up against God, but the archangel Michael struck them out of heaven. And the Bible says that when these fallen angels hit the earth, God imprisoned them underneath the earth. But that's not all. The Bible actually tells us where these angels are chained up under the earth. When these angels fell, God chained them up under a specific location. This location is the Euphrates River. And when this river dries up, the Bible says the angels will be released. And the river is almost dried up. This is proof that the Antichrist agenda is in operation today in the United States. Watch this. Amazon is ramping up its contactless payment system nationwide that works by scanning the palm of your hand right there. Kiddo takes it for a test drive. So the new payment systems have been rolling out across the country for the past year. Finally, here in the Bay Area, we get our very first one and it launched. The Bible says that the Antichrist in the last days will require people to get a mark in their hand. And people will not be allowed to sell or trade or buy anything without this mark. This is the beginning of the mark of the beast. If you want to know more about the end times, make sure to subscribe and go watch the video I pinned in the comments for more. These are three things that you never knew about hell. Number one, more people actually go to hell than go to heaven. The Bible says that the road that leads to hell is wide and many find it. And the road to heaven is straight and narrow and unfortunately, very few find it. Number two, there's actually no water in hell. So people will literally be burning but there will be no water and no comfort and no relief. And number three is that you don't have to go to hell. There's actually a way that you can make sure you never go there. These are two tips that will totally change your prayer life forever. Number one, in John chapter 16, Jesus said, you've never asked anything in my name before. But he said, now that I'm going away to be with my father, you will pray to God in my name and it will be done for you. So when we pray, we ask God in Jesus name, answer this prayer for me. And in point number two, it says in the book of Mark chapter 11, verse 24, that if you believe that what you pray, you will receive it, then you will have it. And Jesus said, when you pray this way, your joy will be full because all your prayers will be answered. 